Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as the title of the video suggests or states, um, today we're going to be talking about what the future of my channel is going to look like. So before I start with the makeup look and going into that, I just wanted to take a moment um, to say that I've had to make the really hard breaking decision to put an end to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. Um, I'm truly sorry to anybody that this will upset and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support that has been shown to me for Karma Chameleon. But it, it came to a point where I just, I had to make the decision for, just for me. Um, so yes, I wanted to get that out of the way and just thank everyone that supported me on that journey. So, moving forwards, I'm going to be using the Mica Beauty Shop. Uh, serpent palette today. I have used this off camera and it is amazing. This is a colour story. I'm probably gonna just stick to the greens today just because green is my favourite colour. Um, so yes, I've primed my eyes with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, the original one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with Regeneration beautiful shade there um, and okay so what's my channel going to look like moving forwards well firstly I am bringing back my new releases and sneak peeks series um, I have really missed doing that and I think also where I run the classified indie releases page on Instagram it will tie together nicely and give me more of an opportunity to keep in touch with what's going on in the indie world beauty community which I'm super passionate about um, and that kind of brings me to my my next point um, which is there's gonna you're gonna see a lot more reviews um, looks like recreating people's looks or just doing a certain type of look um, using indie makeup there's going to be a far bigger emphasis on on using more well just using indie brands and trying to try as many of the smaller indie brands as I can, um, trying to introduce you guys to more indie brands. Um, I'm very fortunate to be on the PR list for Madage Beauty. Um, I'm a brand ambassador for Artitude Cosmetics. Um, I have several discount codes. I've created some really beautiful friendships. Um, with indie brand owners, Rocks of Artitude Cosmetics, Darcy of Saints Angels Sinners, just to name a couple, James of Madage Beauty. And I really want to concentrate on just sharing their products more. So it will, it will be more about the the indie brands and their products and just creating looks using those. Um, another thing that you will see a lot more of are going to be build your own palette videos, um, either trying to dupe palettes that I want but can't get or you know, can't get, can't afford to get, whatever, um, but also creating colour stories. Um, anyone that's been with me for a while knows that one of my favourite things to do is to create colour stories and I can thank my beautiful soul sister 
Anki for that. She has been the huge driving force behind that passion that I have. And so I hope to be collabing with Anki on many more Build Your Own Palette videos, collabs, because um, they're so much fun. Um, so yeah, you'll see a lot more Build Your Own Palette stuff. I love this shade. So I'm really building it up so that you'll see why. Um, yeah, the, I love the shades in this palette. They are phenomenal, um, especially the the shimmer shades because they are all shifty. They are just magical, absolutely magical. Impressed does not come close. I am, I am head over heels in love with this palette. And it has a snake on, which <laughs> if you know me, you know I love my snakes. Um, so yeah, where was I at? Build your own palettes. So yeah, I hope to be doing a lot more of that. And also even some newer stuff, even if I've picked it up, maybe looking to recreate, maybe give inspiration to some of you guys to dig your singles out and create some colour stories. So I'm next going to go into Quetzalcoatl. I have no idea how you say that. I'm so sorry. I've more than likely butchered that. But it's this beautiful deep green. So yes, where where was I? Builder and palettes collabs. Um, I am going to be doing a lot more collabs, um, collabing with some really amazing people over here on YouTube. Um, last night's video was a collab with my beautiful sister Erica, Erica Conga. Um, so hopefully you will see many more collabs coming we're hoping to make it more of a regular a regular occurrence um there are a few other plans in motion for collabs with other amazing people um so i hope you guys enjoy those and i've also been thinking about like doing a series recreating other people's looks whether they be content creators over here on youtube whether they be um looks from people that people have done on instagram or um as an example i was watching masked singer with my daughter and rita aura had this amazing makeup look on that i really want to recreate so just things like that just a bit more fun yeah as you can see looks like this is yeah it's definitely the first time I've used this on camera it performs so beautifully it's so good okay was was there anything else I wanted to say um Obviously, I'm open to any suggestions if there's anything you'd like to see. Obviously, I can't make any promises as to what I can do, but I am, I'm definitely open to suggestions. And I do apologise, that's a neighbour's dog barking. For once, it's not my dog I'm, I'm shushing. <laughs> but if you can hear then I apologise. I think it's a couple of doors up. They've got a Great Dane. And he's loud. Very loud. Okay. And then I'm going to pop into forewarning. The yellow. This yellow is beautiful. And I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges just to add a bit of brightness there so we've kept it kind of we I say we I've kept it kind of grungy but then I want to to just add that brightness around the edge I know what I'm saying <laughs> I think I do anyway um so yeah if you do have any suggestions of things that you would like to see definitely drop me a comment and let me know 
Yeah, this yellow is really, really good. I love that. It really shows up. I think over a white base, it would pop even more. But... We're not doing anything intricate today. Just a nice, chilled green and yellow look. So, yeah. Um, what else is there to talk about? Um, so, yeah, today I just really wanted to be really transparent with you guys and just give you an update on, you know, what's, what's going to be happening. Um, obviously, the decision... I made regarding Karma Chameleon has been a really difficult, painful, heartbreaking decision for me to make. So this will be the last, the last time I will be talking about it. Um, just purely because I want my channel to be just about positivity and colourful makeup, or just makeup, positivity, makeup, indie brands, just having fun with makeup and I think that's that's about it for the updates I do have some exciting videos coming up I have some more indie brands to try um, including Motet's Dame, um Beauty Moon Cosmetics Bone Idol Beauty, Wishbone Cosmetics, Playing and Makeup by Yolando. But yeah, so you guys will be seeing... Oh, crikey, I'm shaking. Um, you guys will be seeing those brands coming up within the next couple of weeks. I hope to get all of them up within the next couple of weeks. So yes. Um, when it comes to the new releases and sneak peeks... Um, I was thinking of either doing it on a Friday or a Saturday. It will be starting from next week, just because we're at the weekend already. Um, so let me know, guys, if you would prefer that to be... Sorry, I've just dipped back into Regeneration, the middle one. Um, if you would prefer to see it on a Friday or a Saturday, let me know. Yeah, this part is just beautiful. And yeah, for any of you that haven't checked out my classified page on Instagram, I will pop the link to that in the description box below for if you want to check out. I try to keep as on top of indie new releases, sales, um, updates. I, I try and keep on top of as much as I can to, to keep you guys updated and try and give some of the smaller brands, uh, another platform, so to speak. So yeah, if if you wish to check that out, it will be linked in the description box below. And I absolutely love doing it so much. Right. I am going to... Do I just want to take that all over? No. Hmm. I'm going to go into Antidote, this beautiful shimmer hex. I haven't used this one yet. Obviously, I've only used it off camera and only once so far. But that's how amazing it is. I, f I did swatch everything, um, but I completely and utterly fell head over heels with it. Look at that. I did really load my brush up, so I was expecting fallout. I haven't sprayed it. And today it's just out of sheer laziness that I haven't. So apologies. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't need it. They don't need to be sprayed to look beautiful, any of these. I'm going to try with my finger though. Let's have a, a look, see. Let's have a look. I 
don't think it really made a lot of difference. It just looks beautiful and shifty anyway. Yeah, guys, just check that out. There's like a pinky colour in there, bronzy colour, green. Obviously, in the pan, it looks pretty green. But I don't know if you can see as I'm kind of dragging it across my eye. Look at the shifts. Hopefully, they will be showing to you guys because it's stunning. Just so that I've done the same on both eyes, I'll go back in with my finger, but I really don't think it's made any difference. I think it just, maybe it's slight. beautiful and then I'm quickly just going to dip into duality which I don't know what color that's showing up as to you guys I can see red looking at it now I'm just going to pop that on the outer part here maybe I'll just do it with my finger Ooh like green red pink okay i just want to keep that right on the right on the outside there yeah they just melt together look at that beautiful obviously there's a fair bit of fallout but then i loaded my brush up i've loaded my finger up so it was expected I'm loving how that is looking. I'm going to nip off and finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and wrap the video up. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll just let you know a couple of the things I've popped on my face. Um, so on my eyes, in my waterline, I have the MAC Eye Slash Lip Liner Pencil. And I think the colour is M07. I think. That's the only thing I can find on there that seems to be different with the others. Um, and then in, in my waterline? No, that was in my waterline. The wing is the Aqualiner, water activated liner from Micro Beauty Shop in the shade Barbie. I received this as a free gift with purchase when I picked up the Glacier palette. And guys, if you like the look of these water activated liners at the moment, um, she is selling them off. They're being discontinued and I believe they're like one euro each at the moment. So if you want to pick up some bargains, then yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful. Um, on my lips, I have one of the lip glosses from the Saints Angel Sinners and Fairy Light um, collection, the Fairy Tale collection. This is the shade 38. I love it. They're super soft and silky. Um, the lashes are from Meggy Lashes, which is the UK indie brand I discovered recently. And they are in the style main event. I'm in love with them. Um, I did pop some Duraline over the top of the water activated liner to seal it because I have watery eyes a lot of the time these days. Um, Oh, and highlighter. I've used the Josh Cosmetics Pressed Powder Glow in the shade Aurora. If I can open it, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It's quite shifty and beautiful. Quite blinding. Okay, so that is about it from me. Um, some sad news, some positive news, a bit of both. Um, but yes, moving forwards, there's going to be a lot more indie brand content, a lot more looks using indie brands, um, some collabs, build your own palettes. So yes, if you would like to see more of that, 
and you're not already subscribed then please do consider sticking around and subscribing it would be wonderful to have you along for the ride thank you so much for spending this time with me today i really appreciate you i love you thank you i hope you're having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon bye yeah. stepping in the spa like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gun play oh my yeah of the city with the party always getting praised like it's sunday she said baby what you gonna do about it